Hi, welcome to another uh, Warships exam solution tutorial. We're going to be looking at validating get row and column. Uh, I think pretty much everyone thinks this is going to be a dead cert. Um, just as a quick reminder, we're looking at the Paper 1 AS for the new spec, not the Com 1 Reset. Loads of resources on the, com on the Computing Wiki book, and uh, if you type in this URL, you'll see my Google Doc with all of the suggestions to what might be in this year's exam. Validation. Uh, just for this, we're only going to bother looking at uh, validate column, because uh, validating the row is absolutely identical. And I think the three things that might get you to do is present slash type check and a range check. At the moment, if you are uh, playing the game, you can type in a location that is off the board, and that, of course, will uh, throw an exception. So what we're going to do is we're going to control the validation with a do loop as always with a boolean and we're going to use a try catch for the presence and type check and we're going to use an if statement for the range check. Absolutely nothing unusual there. So let's go straight to the code. Okay so we've got the code here with get row column and first thing I'm going to do is stick in a boolean that we're going to use to control our validation loop. Now let's check in the loop. So we're going to effectively keep running this piece of code until we have a valid entry. Uh, let's sort out a type and presence check. So we need to try catch for that. And of course in the catch part of it, if an exception is thrown, we're going to set valid column to equal false. Now to do the range check. We're going to make sure we're doing it greater than equal to zero or less than or equal to nine. That's our check for the and if that's true, obviously valid column equals true, uh, I always set it to um, set the boolean on every single branch of the selection. It's a bit unnecessary, but um, I like it. It's clearer. Now, clearly we haven't bothered with any messages yet. This is just going to keep going around saying, please enter column. Let's give them a bit of dialogue so they know they've done something wrong. Um, so just at the end, I'm going to say that if it isn't a valid column, so if valid column has been set to false at some stage, then we just tell them column must be uh, integer between 0 and 9. Obviously in the exam they will tell you exactly what you've got to type. Let's test it. Doesn't matter which game we play. Leave that so we can all see it. Uh, so let's do a, t a presence check first. Bosh. Lovely. Let's do a type check. Bosh. Let's do a couple of um, erroneous entries. Lovely. And now let's do a boundary. Lovely. So we can see we've got four tests there. Th um, sorry. Yeah, four tests there that are wrong. A presence, a type, a range, a range, and then my final one is a boundary that should be allowed. So everything seems to work. As I say, this is literally, everyone thinks this is going to come up. Almost every year they do a validation just to get you into it. Uh, it's worth six marks. And um, practice this to make sure you're uber quick. Hopefully you found that tutorial useful. Uh, please leave comments uh, and suggestions if you want me to do anything else.